for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip of the man, cheese as always. The franchise deep dive just dropped uh, on EA's Twitter, so I'm going to go over that. And I'm also going to start by giving you guys some of the reactions that I've seen uh, from the uh, deep dive. As a lot of people had a lot of issues. Everybody knows last year's franchise mode did not perform. Uh, it had the cloud server issue. It had uh, franchise mode bugs when it came to like the free agency and stuff like that. There was so many issues when it came to franchise mode. That was really the mode that was supposed to be the central focus of this year's game and was really, you know, when you heard all this make or break news that people were going to get fired if they don't figure it out this year, it's pretty much centered around franchise mode. And from the looks of the trailer or the latest uh, video that EA put out, I mean, number one, the reactions from this in the comments below, which is something that I usually watch, uh, it's typically, you know, it's typically the dip, the opposite of what it was today, which most people really seem to be excited and happy with the new, uh, you know, the new updates to franchise mode. And I'm not going to lie, that reaction plus the trailer and some of the things I'm going to go over in this video today are making me feel like, I mean, I haven't played franchise mode in a long time because it's just, you know, been the same thing over and over and it really hasn't. Uh, you know been too great, but after watching this trailer and seeing some of these um, some of the highlights I might actually have to jump back into franchise mode myself if you guys watch my channel You know I play a lot of regular head-to-head -head gameplay because I like using regular teams Well, it'd be nice to kick it up a notch and play some franchise mode But before I do if you guys want to see more videos like this as always leading up to Madden 24 I do plan on doing some uh, best teams to use videos uh, some you know reactions because I did play the game I did play the beta for some time so if you want to see more videos like this make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that let's go and skip right into the video now we're only about a couple of weeks away from real life training camp but that's one of the first things they talk about in this trailer is that training camp is back so if you get to you know if you're in a franchise and you get to the off season there's not really usually a ton to do other than the draft uh, now they're going to have a, a training camp to go through, which is pretty cool because it's mostly mini games. And the mini games are going to be integrated throughout the entire season, meaning every week you're going to have to uh, you're going to have the option to do mini games to improve players or certain positions, uh, which is you know super cool because the mini games I played them they're pretty fun. They always were fun back when they were in the game. Uh, you know, I don't know how many years ago it was. So it's not like mini games was ever to a point where I mean maybe it got boring to the point where they get rid of it. I don't know why they get rid of it, but they brought it back and they added a lot of new ones, which you'll see here uh, in this uh, some screenshots. Uh, my favorite looking one uh, for whatever reason is the, is the special teams ones. I feel like when it comes to like passing, I just rather do it in the game. Same thing with running, although some of the running ones were always some of the funnest ones. And some of these look like, um, you know, they might actually improve the way that you play in game. Like this one here where you're rushing the passer, going through two blockers. If you're rushing the passer from the defensive line, I should say, it's one of the harder ways to control the game. So I never really spend a lot of time doing it. But every once in a while, you run into somebody that looks like they spend a lot of time on the defensive line and they're just shedding blocks like crazy. And they're getting right into the quarterback and they're, they're stopping run plays and all kind of stuff. So playing mini games like this might actually help you improve in an area that you're not good at. Now, they do take the time to say that they improved the logic when it came to free agency. That's because last year, uh, like some of the best players in the game were getting released to free agency because there was some glitch in the system that wasn't allowing computer teams um, to negotiate with uh, you know, free agent players until the end of the year. Um, and it was causing, like I said, some like high 90 overall players to get to the market that never would get to the market, like quarterbacks and stuff like that, young quarterbacks and stuff like that, uh, which was kind of ruining, um, you know, free agency for a lot of people. Now, one of the major things that they um, they said that, you know, they've been talking about for a while is they expanded the trade uh, system to six slots, which would help, you know, when it comes to trying to trade for maybe ridiculously high players. I mean, I could probably trade for Patrick Mahomes with six slots if I really wanted to, um, which is probably something you wouldn't be able to do with just three players. Because, you know, players that are like 99 overalls and stuff like that typically are going to be very hard to unearth. Now, they said they improved uh, franchise tags, which is something, if I remember correctly, a couple years ago when I used to play franchise mode, didn't even work properly. So that's probably what they mean. I don't know. Maybe they finally fixed something. I, I don't play. I haven't played franchise mode in a while. Other than that, they also, I, I don't think 50 options was a thing where apparently now it is. And now you can restructure contracts. Uh, which is something that they've been uh, saying for you know something for quite a while now. 
Uh, so that's a couple of things that you can do to help build your team that are also um, obviously in real life. They happen all the time. So it's nice to be able to finally do them in Madden. Now, when it comes to draft classes, they did a couple of things. They said they expanded the draft class generator, which just means more guys to, to, to thumb through, I guess, if you're trying to find those star players. Um, they said that they'll have players with 99 overall traits. They also talk a lot about how there's going to be players that will be able to play multiple positions, uh, that you'll be able to switch positions, and they show like a basically a Taysom Hill clone. And then they say something about players based off of uh, legends, which, I mean, the, the player that they show has a completely different name, and I can't even tell you what legend is based off of. Next, they go over the coaches, and they say that there's a new talent tree. They got a third talent tree. Uh, one, the, probably the most important one, the one they highlight here, is that for offensive and defensive coordinators, that third talent tree will be uh, based off of a specific position. So if you have, you know, a young uh, receiver that you just drafted and you want to build up the receiving core quicker, you can get a, an offensive coordinator that is a guru when it comes to receivers or, you know, whatever position you're trying to grow the fastest. Maybe it's a quarterback, running back, whatever. You're going to want to get your offensive coordinator to match that and the same thing on the defense. If you want to build up your cornerbacks, that'd be my number one thing. I'm, I know when I used to play franchise mode, to me, cornerbacks was always the hardest thing to get and one of the hardest things to improve. So I definitely think that that would probably be one of the best positions, maybe safety, something in the secondary. But at the end of the day, it's based off of what you're trying to improve, and that's something that just gives you more control over improving that certain position. Now, they also go over uh, team related location which is something that to me is you know i never really care for it I'm, I'm an eagles fan i live in the philadelphia area i never really wanted to move my team i don't like the idea of my team actually moving from this area that'd be that'd be horrible so i never really wanted to do that in fantasy either but at the end of the day if you're just trying to have some fun they said that um, you can now move once per season which is really interesting that's kind of a thought that you could you basically relocate every year uh it would be kind of funny but you can relocate once per season, and they make it sound like the relocation happens right away. So I guess the stadium was just waiting for you, uh, which is, like I said, it's pretty cool. There's a, a bunch of new uniforms, which is something that they, um, you know, said, a bunch of new names, stuff like that. All this stuff sounds really exciting. As I'm talking about it, I mean, it sounds fun, like fun. And whether I make videos about it or not, I'm probably going to be playing some franchise mode in my free time. Now, it says that you can move to new cities and it has fresh uniforms to choose from, fresh uniform concepts. Uh, but it makes me think that they probably just added some. They probably still have the same uniforms that they've been using for years past with some new options. Now, the next one and one of the biggest ones, I think, when it comes to online modes is the new commissioner tools, which is something that they've been touting for a while. They're trying to get more control over franchises for commissioners. And they also, I mean, they say right out the front that this is something that's going to be, um, they call it a multi-year journey, which means that they didn't get everything in that they want to get in, but there's still a lot of really cool stuff one of the ones I saw is you can toggle the strength of draft classes. Um, and that, I mean, that's really cool. <laughs> if you really want more quarterbacks and more receivers or whatever, you can do that. Um, they also have the ability to adjust the offensive play call cooldown, uh, the, the offensive play call limit, uh, the, you know, same thing on defense. That's something that, I can, you know, the thing, my, well, my issue with getting into online franchises is there's so many different ones that have so many different rules. This is just going to make that even crazier to the point where if you get into a league, it's like you're going to have to like read a, a manual for, for what you're going to do, for what like the rules are for the league. Uh, or you just, you know, play a couple games and eventually we'll figure it out, I guess. But it's like stuff like this is like it's cool. And I think it's something that people definitely want because I know a lot of people get mad. Um, but it's also going to make it harder to find that perfect franchise because every franchise is going to be so different. I also like that it has uh, progression and regression sliders. So if you really want a league where, you know, a bunch of, where you want the young players to get better faster and take over for the old, older players. Or if you're trying to hold on to the older players, like you want Aaron Rodgers to play for another 10 years. If you're a Jets fan, you could slow those regression sliders down and, you know, let him play till he's 50 and stuff like that. You know, which I think, like I said, all this stuff's really cool. So if you guys would be interested in franchise franchise mode content going forward mad 24 with all these new features let me know in the comment section just let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this you know this gameplay trailer or this uh, franchise mode trailer in general other than that i'm gonna go ahead and end the video there i'll have more Madden 24 preview videos popping up on screen if you guys didn't catch them and that's it thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below